Everyone deals with deleted or missing files at one point or another, and Apple's Time Machine software automatically backs up your Mac, which provides a simple way that you can restore your computer files or also find deleted files as well. Unlike a full manual backup of files that can take hours, Time Machine is designed to be set and forget which saves you time and stress. All you need to set it up is an external hard drive, and I really recommend getting an SSD for even faster file saving and file recovery as well. And the drive should be at least double the size of your Mac's internal storage to allow Time Machine to keep a history of your files and not just one copy. So this is what lets you travel back in time to find a file from a week or a month ago. So to start, all you need to do is actually plug the external drive into your Mac. If it's not formatted in APFS, you will need to format it in APFS or XFAT to use it. And then on your Mac, activate Spotlight Search, search for Time Machine, and then it'll ask you to set up Time Machine. Then click Add Backup Disk. And I wanna use my 9100 Pro, two terabyte, Click set up disk and this will allow you to choose if you want to encrypt it or not. I recommend encrypting it if your drive is somewhere where anyone could access it. And then you can set a password and enter the password as well. And make sure if you want a password on it, don't lose it because you won't be able to access your data or recover it without the password. Today we're not going to encrypt it. Then hit done and it's going to prepare the drive and wait for the next backup. The first backup will take longer because it has to start from scratch, but in the future Time Machine will only back up the files that you change and you also set up automatic backups on it as well, which will make it even faster. Once you have multiple Time Machine saves, if you accidentally deleted an important document or you want to revert to a previous version of a photo, all you need to do is enter Time Machine, open the folder where the file used to be, like in the documents or your photos, and then click the Time Machine icon in the window bar, and you can browse your Time Machine backups to travel through the backups. And then you can use the timeline on it to go back in time to see what your folders used to look like on different dates or occasions. This is the view that you may have seen, which is an intuitive visual representation of your backup history. So for the best results, you wanna make sure that you keep your external drive connected to your computer as much as possible to allow for frequent backups. This will also allow Time Machine to run hourly backups, which is really handy if you're dealing with a lot of file changes and you wanna have lots of backups of it. Also remember, if your data is sensitive, it's highly recommended to set up the encryption on it. And that's gonna give you that option to encrypt it from the start. Or you can also always go back and encrypt your drive later on by going to Finder control clicking the backup disk and then clicking encrypt. That'll allow you to type the password and the password hint. And if you encrypt an existing local disk, your data will be preserved. Another really useful feature for Time Machine is you can transfer all your data to a new Mac just by using the Time Machine backup on your external SSD. So I hope this video is helpful for you to set up Time Machine. I hope you never have to use it, but if you do, it's there and ready to go. If you're interested in buying an external SSD to use for Time Machine, I'll have links for all my favorites in the description below. Like this video, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future tech tips.